Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 18 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. Yo has something to say to us, but we're going to head down here and grab some materials first. I'm trying to keep everything in game on screen for you. Although it means I need to do things like this. At times this game can get rather grindy. Where you just come and do the same thing over and over again to get more of what you have already so you can make the stuff you want. And I need... I needed these five. Magic ores. Which happens a little less than half of the time. What Eo says there to get your attention is interesting. Would you like to try some of my cooking? Which is odd because she doesn't seem like a cooking type. I realized during my trial runs that I never actually put this formation together. Check it out. It's a line formation. It adds two to the dodge of all of my characters. So these bonuses are kind of adding up. Now let's replace that training location and the tree I pulled up. Now let's see what Eeyore has to say. So it's night time and Avaro's headed for bed and runs into Eo. She has a pretty interesting skill of sneaking up on Avaro when he's not expecting her. So, what's up? He was out here to talk to Avaro. So... She wants to explain. Because she got her him uh, wrapped up in her problems. Yep. So first of all, wants to thank Avaro for helping in the Mikeo incident. Well, Avaro says she doesn't need to apologize. Because, you know, they had their reasons for doing it as well. But Io knows and wants to thank him anyway. Io's just got this way of, even if she doesn't need to do something, she does it because she considers it what she needs to do. You could say it's being proper. That's how I would describe these, this um, adjective there, Richigi. She's also occasionally called conscientious. So, the explanation she wanted to do. So, Io used to kill people for money. Yeah, you tried to kill me, so I know that perfectly well. Well, Avaro seems surprisingly equanimous about this. In fact, a little bit pleased. 
Yeah, she really is conscientious, is what he was thinking. She really does say that she does what's right. Well, not so much in the order of not killing people, but doing what's proper, I suppose. So he went to pet her on the head during this, and Io doesn't really stop him. So, let's ask Io if she always did that kind of work. Well, only when money was really necessary. Yeah, Mikeo had a hard time finding a job, so you guys were in rather tough straits. Navarro also knows what it's like to have a hard time finding a job, what with his lineage. Yeah, the world is tough on you, half-bloods. For some reason, Navarro always takes a bit of offense at half-blood, where just half-elf doesn't seem to bother him at all. Hmm, anyway, let's ask about these two's parents. Well, Io's parents are dead, and he do she doesn't know about Io, Mikeo's parents. So that's why they were living together and stuff. Yeah, the two of them are family, so they had to stick together and protect each other. Hmm. The two of them are both Beastman tribe. Did they grow up in the same village? Nope. They grew up in different towns. But since they met, they were important to each other, so they were family. Hmm. That was something that Mikeo once said to Io, and now she says it too. So, does Mikeo know what Io did? No. And Io doesn't want Avaro to tell her either. Yep, you definitely can't tell her. Pretty stubborn. What we're trying to do is the proper thing. It's odd that she keeps her best friend in the dark about this. But, Avar goes along with it. It's a secret. So, that organization kind of let Io go, and Io does admit they said that she was free. But it'll probably continue, because as long as she's still alive. Mm, that's true, that didn't seem like the end of it to Alvaro either. They did kidnap Mikeu in order to draw Avaro and Fia out of the castle. So, it wasn't only about Eel.
And furthermore, when we first, or Avaro simply, first met Eel, it was with regard to that item that the fat mechanic, remember him, had stolen out of the ruins. So probably the organization is after something in the castle. Or maybe after the whole castle. I've always pretty smart to pick all this up, actually. Yeah. Hey. Seems like it'll be kind of tough from here on out. Eel says she's causing trouble for us. And Avaro says to her what he was thinking uh, thinking to himself. Even if it wasn't Eel, they're after the castle anyway, so Avaro would be on the hit list any, whether she were here or not. What's most important is that we keep our allies and friends from being kidnapped again. Eel's really serious about defending the people he cares for, she cares for. Man, she puts on such a tough guy front, sometimes I call her by male names. Anyway. But she wants him to know that if she's ever thought of as a burden, they can tell her to leave. Ah, you. Don't you ever say that again. You say it again and we're, you're going without food. It's funny how the way he pets her is more like petting a dog than petting a cat. Well, at least in the description. You can't tell from the image. But it's described as a... a bit more violent type of pet than a rhythmic type of pet. Yeah, anyway. I've always tells her off a bit for trying to carry everything on her shoulders. While it's really, really admirable, she's got people she can rely on around here, so she needs to try and trust us some more. We're all living here in the castle together, so we're all connected. So, we need to be working together, and you shouldn't hold back in asking for it. Yeah, and she doesn't need to do things she doesn't want to do anymore. Even if she's requested to, she doesn't have to kill people that she's never even met. Yeah. She was really guilty about that, I guess. So she won't do it anymore. And we're good with that. So, Io seems happy about this. Good night, good night. Boy, she always takes off. Takes off without a sound. Rank 7. Let's see, this is the girl who has received faith from... This is races, so we could say that she's gotten faith from several races now. This is a... Uh, this is a skill she's gotten. Hanging bottle shot? Okay, I'm sure that there's a better translation for that. 
I'm sure there's a better translation for that, but I probably won't be using the skill at all. See, I usually keep her... Hmm. Actually, I keep a lot of things I don't use on her. But if I really need her for a good power attack on something I don't want to capture, I probably could equip it. It adds a little bit of power. Hmm. I'll consider it. I'll consider it. So let's see what Mikeu has to say to us. Hey. <laughs> so Mikeu has called Avaro out and Avaro's talking to himself. It's nice for a girl to call a guy out. He makes it up in his head like she's going to confess her love to him. Oh, and asks straight out, Mikeu. I don't suppose you want to confess your love to me here. No, of course not. <laughs> yeah, he got blown out pretty harsh. Yeah, she just answered too quickly is all. So she likes him. She really does. So she really, really likes him. For reals. And she thought she, that he was really cool when she when he came to rescue her. Although gameplay-wise, they didn't even end up in the same room during that entire time. <laughs> okay, I've always feeling better about getting blown off now. So, what is the important conversation she called him out for? Alright, she's got something to ask. Alright, if he can, Mikael would like him to answer this qu Answer this directly. Avaro, did you try to kill you? What? <laughs> uh, Avaro tries to play dumb here. But she caught him off guard. And she catches it. Surprisingly, she's figured him out. And as already did from his reaction can tell that Eel that first Eel did try to kill him. And second, that Eel has asked Avaro not to tell Mikeu that uh, you all tried to kill him. Yeah, I thought she was more naive than that, but I guess she had, is kind of perceptive. <laughs> Avaro tries to cover up his uh, bad lying, but it's no use. Yeah, Mikio was suspecting that, that all that was true. Well, otherwise she wouldn't have asked, right? So Mikio knew that Yo had a job to which she couldn't tell any other people. So she didn't hear it from Yo herself. Nope, Yo would absolutely not talk about it. Well, at first when Mikio found out, she was kind of sad that Yo didn't trust her, but... Eventually, she got used to the Eel being 
eel in that way, and it learned to not let it bother her. So when did she notice? Mikeyu figured it out basically right off the bat. Because Io earned such so much money that she couldn't possibly have any normal kind of job. So did Io take care of the expenses between the two of them? But Mikio took care of the finances actually. She says that Io had, was a bit whimsical and tended to go off on things, so she took administration of the money. Hmm. It's funny how Io's just got done telling Avar how she didn't want Mikio to know about this. You know, it's surprised considering how little Eo says, and how hard she tries to keep her intentions hidden from people, they figure her out like lickety-split. So, Mikeyu didn't ask and Eo didn't tell. And the two of them kind of got into that habit. Mikeyu would say dance brightly and Io would do her best in the shadows. But Mikio figured it was alright like that since everything seemed to go well. But this latest time, she came to realize that in the end, Eo was only protecting her. Or spoiling her is the word she uses. She just pretended to do not know anything and actually didn't realize how much it troubled Eo. And she's worried that if she hadn't allowed the ruse to run like that, she wouldn't have got kidnapped and all that crap wouldn't have happened. She says that Io has that the two of them have been that like that ever since they met. Eo's always been kind and strong and cool. I wonder if this is meant to mean that when they first met, Eo rescued Mikeo from something else. But it's a bit ambiguous. <laughs> so with Io being so impressive in her life, she herself tried to talk about how great she was and try to live up to being as great. So by trying as hard as she can, she's hoping that someday she'll catch up to her and be able to pay back all the kindnesses that she's received. But she doesn't want it to be someday. She wants it to be soon, and that's why she's trying as hard as she can. <laughs> so, in order to support Io as best she can, she wants to become a cool woman. These two are totally like princess and knight material. So, 
So, Navarro thinks it's very good what she's trying to do. And the fact that she's being pressed into it by her rough memories is uh, probably necessary for her growth. Navarro himself had a tough time trying to get to be a engineer and took a lot of work and he was driven by what he was lacking. So he understands what it's like to try hard in order to get somewhere. And he's backing her up, so... <laughs> yeah, Mikio does ask him to teach her. And she's thankful for everything. Oh, and now she says that she wants to keep him to keep this a secret from Eel. Didn't we just get done talking about this? Come on, you don't want to keep repeating the same failure, do you? Well, she doesn't want to embarrass Eel with that particular revelation, so she's thinking that sharing this with Avaro will be enough. Because see, Avaro-san will also support Eel, right? Well, yes he will. Um, what, the way you say that, that means you're not telling Fia? Well, Fia might say something. <laughs> yeah, giving a secret to Fia, she'd spill the beans. You'd give her a handful of beans, you could probably walk the beans all the way up to the top of that tower in the background. She'd spill so many of them. Alright, so. Alright, I was down with this as well. She's keeping a secret from Eo. Wait a minute. She likes how he's so pliable, I guess. Mikeu is a woman who feels really good, he says. In an erotic way? Uh, no. It's that you have a handsome frame of mind. <laughs> well, to say handsome, it contains the word male in Japanese. So... She takes a bit of offense because she's a girl. If I was got to say, Mikio would probably be a pretty good craftsman. And he asks her to be his pupil. No, she doesn't like it. It's sweaty and smelly. So, well, anyway. What she wants to be is a scholar or a magician. Ah, oh, man. Avara put his heart behind that offer and she just blew him off. But it's interesting, the two of them. The two of them are just so alike in their own ways. He goes and pets her without permission again.
But the two of them do care. And it goes both ways. And they do their best. Yeah, the two of them really do do a lot for each other. Okay. Now I could make some of these, but it takes one of those and it disappears. It takes one of the magic ores that I got and I'm going to need all five of them for this. You remember the blue copper keys and the blue copper doors that we weren't able to open? Once I make this blue copper key, I'll be able to open it. And I require those five magic ores to do it. As well as a crystal, which I get to get in the next map. And this map is a bit of a doozy. As soon as we draw you near here, we hear the footsteps of some very large creature. This seems pretty dangerous around here. We should try and explore so we don't get caught. Or maybe we should just leave. But let's just be careful. Of course, I don't care what Avaro says. Something I want to draw your attention to is this. Here. This is our first two-star creature. So, not only are we going to defeat it, we're going to capture it. Yes, exactly. Now, an additional objective here is that I want to find... Mm. Oh, yes, skills. While I'm here, I want to get the crystals, a crystal anyway, from the mining. But it's dropped about half of the time for me so far. It's really something of a hassle. Ah, yes, I'm here to... Switch out skills. And me move Mikao in. Oh, I want to point out, I can't summon Kaurin right now. Not because he is not on the map, but because you need to summon Kaurin into a space you control, which isn't empty. This is empty, but we don't control it, so we won't be able to summon him there. So let's clean out this room. Yeah. What a bad level up. Well, luck is a fairly rare statistic to get, so I guess we'll be happy with that. Now, I swapped her skills around so she has her magic-based melee skill. And there... Did you think she? I would let her die? That was her body swap snowman skill. Only once it will restore her to life with 25% health. I don't know if that's once per battle round or once per stage. But I'm sure I'm going to figure that out eventually. Anyway, it's a really useful skill. Oh, this is nice. I've all got a level up. Which is good because he's behind level. Behind everybody in level. Attack and fence are the most one important ones. Luck is good too. Hmm, okay, so that went well. Kill these guys. Hmm. 
Hmm. This is turn two. I need to keep track in my head of where that dragon is because... Ah, bastards. Hmm. Let's just do regular attacks. I gotta tell you, this dragon is not only level 16, upping all of my characters by a couple levels, but being two-star, he's unusually tough. But I've got a strategy that should take care of him. Well, should nothing. It'll take care of him. Hmm. Fia stands here. Now, if I could get me Keu down into this lower portion, that would be nice, but I'm going to take Eo instead. Alright, a bit of exploring. Yeah, boy, it's about time. Okay. Sucker. Hmm. These guys are surprisingly fast. If he wasn't so fast, he'll... Fia could get three attacks off and kill him in one round. Well, let's get this over with. Yep, the dragon was right where I thought he was. Your job now is to run away. Now getting Eol to fight these ghosts reminds me of my first time fighting ghosts in Himegari. You had like eight or ten ghosts had eight or ten ghosts you wanted to kill, but there was only... But the only guys I had with me were orcs. Orcs. That meant physical attacks, which is totally useless against ghosts. Reduced to one life, as you see. And what I had to do is just keep knocking off two and three health at a time until they were all dead. Mmm, yeah, wait here. Kodo Kaishita. Engosu. All right, time for the good part. Dragon slaying! Now this is an earth dragon, so... Conrin's big earth attacks will do nothing. So it's either the regular attack or... capture attack. And Karin is so slow that they are effectively the same. Actually, the capture attack has less accuracy, but with Avaro's two buffs, it takes care of the accuracy buff, so he hits all the time anyway. But this dragon hurts. Dealing eight dam 18 damage a turn to my best tank. And there's the first 
area of effect attack we get to see in this game. Keep buffing. And we're going to have Fia backing us up over here. It's good that she's so fast she gets three attacks. Oh. Hey, I should show you these this guy's animations. Cotton's up right after E also. Well hell. Let's show you this guy too. Eel's tail is so cute. It's almost hypnotic. Let's see. Keep going. By now the buff is really taking effect. And let's see this sucker. Now... I suppose I should bring up that occasionally because it showed me something important and that is... That dragon has a 0% chance to get critical hits. Okay. Keep going. Okay, I don't know if you noticed in the battles there, but there are the life bars. The life bars only go up to 100, and this guy started with 162. The life bar starts to wrap around from the light yellow bars you start with to light green bars when you're over 100. Mm, anyway, what Avaro is doing is buffing. That's all he can do with the SP he has now. Let's see. In theory, he could do 120 damage to this guy. Oh, yeah. I said I would stop this. See, that time she did 40. But anyway... Let's turn off animations, that's enough of that. Oh yeah, the dragon has a skill that comes up in one in every ten battles. Perhaps you'll see it, perhaps you won't, but if this skill pops up, my guys don't get to attack him at all. Hahaha, <laughs> sucker. Alright, capture. Still a bit too early to expect it to happen, but we're getting close. Capture skill. Yeah, if he is almost guaranteed to hit here. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> this is an Earth Dragon skin. And we captured our first two star monster. Alright, so that takes care of all the enemies, I think. Well, there might be another archer hiding in the back there. I should just send Avaro down here. Avaro has to do everything that remains. There are chests to unlock, secrets to find, mining to do. Well, 
Cotton can do the mining. You know what, we're done with you. Well, we're done with Fiat too. The Magician's Shoes. That's a new item for us. And that'll clear us out. Now let's see if I get my crystal like I want. Mm. Ooh, I missed one of the mining points. That's why I didn't get this. And I need those items. <laughs> Screw you. Uh, I'm sorry, YouTube. I messed up and I'll have to do that again. Yes, Ikse. Shutsugeki! So this is attempt five. This is my fifth attempt to get what I want out of this map. And I well in case I you couldn't figure it out, I already cut the first three attempts. After the one where I actually got the dragon. We're not trying this on our retries. We're just here to mine and gather herbs. And then we're running the hell away. Despite the fact that she needs either a double attack or a critical hit in order to actually kill those guys, she seems to kill them almost every single time. What? Hmm. Oh, that's right. I was using her other attack. Hmm. Hmm. Mikio takes a bit more damage by doing that, but she also deals more damage. Hulk smash! Hmm. Damn, usually this archer manages to hinder the dragon a bit so he doesn't park on top of... Wait a minute, it didn't kill him. Wait a minute. Well... It doesn't get any critical hits and only gets two attacks, so Eel should be fine. Hey, that's nice. 
Yep, I guess I'll have to leave this one in. Eel just got a rank up. Now instead of a Beastman Assassin, she is a accomplished hunter. Nice. She gets even more dodge now. As if she needed more dodge. She'll be a bit more expensive to deploy. These are skills. I'll probably... This is an upgrade of one she already has. I think I'll probably equip her with it. Ha <laughs> Doesn't she have the cutest expressions? Hmm, anyway. Let's see if we get our crystal out of this. No. Alright, if you're watching this attempt, this is attempt number seven to get a crystal out of the mining in here. Yes, Ixe. Shutsugeki! Ikimas! Okay. Mental note. Equip you with skills properly next turn. Alright, here we go. This is one of the skills she picked up. Infiltration 2, we'll call it. I'd like to point out that if you have both 1 and 2 equipped, 1 is grayed out because it's inferior and it, while well, you have the superior 1 equipped, the inferior 1 is disabled. Alright, kill this thing for me, Fia. Hmm. And Mikeu, you kill everything in here. Well, that's a hassle. I see how it works. The dragon would normally move three squares, but I control that room. In an earlier run I made a mistake about how far the dragon would be moving. Nah. Physical defense so high that even Hulk Smash can't even get through it. Hmm. Now that damn archer. The archer provided a bridge for the dragon to get to the herbs, and now I don't get to gather herbs this time. Alright. Karen, you're the only person who's important anymore. And Fio, run the hell away. 
行動開始だ拾ったバイバイ suckers 知らないもの見つけたはあ、finally I finally got the crystals What I say this was run seven Yeah We need to stab somebody 今日は何を作ろうか And here's the blue copper key Just as promised Anything else? I got a lot of other stuff so I may as well Oh, this is a cage If we set it up in our castle we'll be able to capture more enemies at one time This increases it by 10 Hmm Meh, whatever. Oh, this is nice. I didn't talk about it before, but we have some small gray houses, and they increase your physical resistance by 0.1, meaning by zero, until you get them all added up to one or more. And this one adds 0.2, but I still can't build enough of them to actually make a difference to my characters. And that took forever on my end because of those seven trips to the same damn dungeon. So I'm going to cut out in spite of the fact that perhaps you want to see this cutscene. This is BJ Black signing out and... Actually, I do have an important point to bring up. I've recently learned that there's a UA, a user interface patch coming out. Somebody commented, somebody sent me a message telling me about the patch they're making. Showed me a screenshot too. It's looking pretty good, and they say they're about 80% done. So we might see that in the next week, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But when we do, I'll be sure to give you a link in my video descriptions. So you can look forward to that, and I will see you next time. I saved, right? Okay, definitely, yes.